Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. Uh, it's Monday the 9th of September 2024. This is our beginner level puzzle. Every Monday we have an easy level game. Uh, if you want a relaxing game of Sudoku, uh, you've never played the game before, this is the place to begin. So welcome newcomers to the channel. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and do all of those things that people who watch YouTube channels are supposed to do. Thank you very much for that. Uh, again, it's my duty to pass on some sad news. If you haven't heard, Herbie Flowers, uh, bass player of uh, various rock groups, has died aged 86. I'm just looking to see if the actual cause of death is given. It doesn't actually, I don't actually see it. Um, but um, anyway, his death has been announced aged 86. Uh, famously played the bass line on Lou Reed's Walk on the Wild Side, which is a, a, a very memorable bass line, the intro to the song, of course. Everybody knows it, I guess, if you listen to rock music. And played with uh, David Bowie on uh, Space Oddity and uh, um, played with Blue Mink, etc., etc. But I wanted to mention uh, a different um, a different group that he played with, which I remember very well. Uh, and that is the group known as Sky, which was really like late 70s, early 80s. And this was a very unusual group because it was a mixture of kind of classical music and rock and and some slight jazz in there as well. And that featured John Williams, the uh, guitarist, very famous classical guitarist, and also um, Kevin Peake, uh, an electric guitarist, as well as uh, Herbie Flowers. And keyboard player Fran Francis Monkman, who did a great job, and Tristram Fry on drums, and it was a great group. They had some great songs in their album. I remember one album, I'm not sure how many albums they brought out, but it was very interesting music, I thought. Um, anyway, that's uh, the end of uh, that news. Let's get on with the game of Sudoku, shall we? Uh, so how do we play this game? Because it's a Monday, I always explain. So we've got a completely empty row up here with no numbers in, but our objective is to fill up each of these squares with a number. There are nine squares in this row across. There are nine squares in this row down, which is also completely empty. And then there are nine squares in each of these small sections that are outlined in black. And our job is to fill in numbers one to nine, why not one to nine? Because there are only nine squares in every row, every column, and every block. And so we can use logic to find the answer. That's how we come up with our answer. We don't guess at any of this stuff. We just use logic. So for example, this block here has only a digit one. So we are looking for all the numbers two through nine, as Americans say, um, to fill in the other empty squares. Now I can find a digit 7 in this block. How do I do that? Do I use magic? No, as I said, it's only logic. So what do I do? Well, I assume that I, sorry, I will um, um, say f categorically that 7 can only appear in this column one time because there are only nine squares. So it means that these three squares here can't be a seven because we have seven in this column already. And guess what? There's a seven in this column already as well. So that's gonna do the same thing for all other squares in this column. So immediately six of these squares are forbidden to be digit seven. And we have a seven in this row, which means that no sevens can appear in this row here. So guess what? that square there can't be seven. So look, we've eliminated all of these squares. There's already a one in this square here. So it means that there is only one possible location for the seven to appear and it has to go there. That's what we know. Now we'll take that seven that we just filled in because now we have some extra information. Now we know seven blocks across here like this and blocks across here like this. It means that these three squares can't be seven because of this and this seven and now we've got a seven up here blocking down when i say blocking i mean forbidding any other instances of digit seven and that will give us a seven in that square there now we're going to take that seven and see how it blocks down here and seven blocking down here and seven across down here you can see how we're using the numbers that we actually fill in to help us find the next digit now that's very often the case but it's not always the case for example uh, i can't find the seven in this block over here, even though I just block across, we are, there are two possibilities. So I don't know whether seven is in this square or this square. So it doesn't always work, but it does often work. 
Now we can say the one blocks down here and the one blocks down here and that will give us one in that square there. If any of this is too fast for you, please rewind the video, play it again and increase my number of views on YouTube which always falls down uh, at this period of time because I'm out working and can't play so many games uh, later today. What else can I show you? Oh, now we've got two blocking down here. And so we've got two in that square there. And now we have three missing, three empty squares and three numbers must be missing. So let's see what they are. Well, we don't have three. We've got one, two, four, seven, eight, nine. So we don't have three, five, and six. Those are the three numbers that must appear in these squares because we've got all of the other numbers here. Now when you look at this square here and we ask ourselves can it be 3 and the answer is no because we have 3 in this row. Can it be 5? Again the answer is no because 3 and 5 are both in this row. We know that the answer must be 6 and this is the kind of logic you will need as you go through and play the games and they get a bit harder and harder. So now we have 3 and 5 here. Can we say which is which no we can't but can we find this do we find this information useful yes we do because we know that one of these squares is a five we don't know which one but one of them is so if five is here it's going to block up and forbid all squares up there and if five is here it's still going to block all squares up there so it doesn't matter whether five is in this square or this square we can't have any more in this column and now five blocks up here like this and five blocks across this row and this row so we will get a 5 in that square just there. Did the 3s help us? No, not really. We know 3s are there. They block up there also, but uh, that's not enough information to get anything new. So we won't worry about that for now. I mean, we can't do much more about the 5s over here. So we just look. Now we need to look elsewhere. Time to look for something else. And that's the art of Sudoku, is deciding when to look in other places. And it's always my downfall too. It's always why <laughs> spend too long looking in the wrong place. We have eight blocking down here and eight blocking up here, so that's going to give us an eight in that square there. And we have eight across here and eight up here like this, so that's the only possible place where an eight can go. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, where should I be looking next to tell me, tell me, oh, these eights are highlighted, sorry, eight across here, eight across here, that's going to give me an eight there. Ah, now I want to show you again how we think forward, so eight blocks up here and eight blocks across here like this. So where is the eight in this block up here? It's got to be in this white square or this white square, which one? I don't know, but it's one of them, so I'm going to just... So highlight these two again so 8 is here or here it doesn't matter which one it's in it's going to block across here like this and 8 blocks across here like this and 8 blocks up here so there we are so even though we don't know which of these two squares 8 exists in we do know that it will give us an 8 there as I say this is the kind of logic you will need now we have uh, uh, what is it Three and six. Three, six. Oh, okay. I thought I'd seen something, but no. Um, so what's next? Maybe you're ahead of me already. Uh, Okay, so if you're playing on a computer, it's often a good idea to click on the if they highlight if it's set to highlight every instance of a digit, 
that will often help you to scan along because you need to kind of let your eyes run along the rows and columns really to get an idea of where things are. So two across here, two down here and two across there will give me a two in that square. Now the missing numbers across here now in these three empty squares for this this row here are one, seven and nine. We don't have one, seven or nine. We've got all the other numbers and we see one and seven stuck together like bosom buddies and so we know this square here can't be one or seven it has to be a nine and now we're going to be able to find a nine up here so let me show you how nine blocks up here like this and nine blocks across here what does it mean it means that nine is either here or here whichever way it's got to block across here like this and now nine blocks up here what does it mean over here it means nine is either here or here whichever way it's going to block up there and so eventually we end up with a nine in that square there like I say if this is too fast please please go back watch again now I know that we can find this square here how do I know I don't know what it is yet I haven't looked but I do know that we know what's missing from here there are only two numbers left and when we work out what they are well I've forgotten actually it's three and five right I did, did say before we know that three and five are in these two squares so that leaves only one more square up here right so this is not three or five so it's one two not three it's a four isn't it or we could say four blocking up here and four blocking up there you'll find the answer that way also four blocks across here and across here by the way in Sudoku you often find there's more than one way to find the answer to these puzzles we also have four blocking across here and down there which gives me the four there and four blocking down here and across there like this also that means four is in one of these two squares blocking across and the four down so that's a four there I was going through bit by bit wasn't I and I kind of uh, stopped I'm not sure how far I got so I shall start again you can always start again and by the way if you do make mistakes right um, and everybody makes mistakes especially me <laughs> but really all Sudoku players must make mistakes at some time uh, if you just made one small mistake and you re recognize it immediately you can erase it with your pen or back go back on the computer or something um, but if you've made a mistake and it was several steps ago, my recommendation is to um, start again, erase the whole thing, start again. Okay, now in this row here, we've got this five blocking this square, five blocking this square, five blocking here, five blocking here. So look, across here, there's only one empty square where the five can go. It has to go there. seven blocks across here and across here so we can fit our seven there now seven goes to the top like this and across and across so there's our seven seven is now our first completed digit what does that mean it means there are no more sevens left to find on this grid every row every column every block has a seven so there aren't any more so we don't have to worry about digit seven anymore it has left the nest flown we still need a one to complete this row here. Let's do that. And we have one blocking up here and across and across there, which will give us a digit one there. And we have one down here, down here and across there. And so now one joins seven as a completed digit. No more of those to find. Uh, we have eight blocking this square here. We don't have eight in this column yet, and there's only one other empty square, so we know that the eight goes there. Then we can come back and fill in this empty square with a six, because that's the only missing digit. Six blocks across here like this and gives me a six in that square there. 
nine blocks up here and that leaves a nine here and a three here to complete this block and then across here we're just looking for a two to finish uh, right so we've done a large part of the game already we have nine blocking down here that gives us a nine in this square here five is the last number for this block here and then five blocks down and gives us five there and this is the missing digit uh, this is the uh, missing digit will be a six six blocks across here giving me the six there and the last number to place in this row is a three this was a five uh, the missing numbers down here are four and three and I can't get those yet but I can get a missing three in this column so let's do that right one five and seven are finished everything else still has to be found so where should we look let's let's see what's missing in this middle block here uh, so across this row we don't yet have three and we don't yet have six so three and six are in those squares can we say which is which no we can't so and that's the point you know you have to keep looking in Sudoku because you you, you really have to search nine is missing here and four and no we can't say which is four and nine oh dear we're stuck but no need to panic I've just seen we have only one number to get up here which I should have spotted before but I often miss things like that <laughs> missing number is a six we don't have six yet so now we can finish the game six across there will give us six in that square and then six across here across here I didn't need that one actually six blocking all the way up here will give us six now there's only one number missing for this column uh, and it's uh, no it's not it's uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's uh, I don't know what it is three yes and three blocks across here so this would be our three and the last number here is a two and two blocks up here so that gives us a two in that square two blocks across here there's our two again if any of this is too fast just go back watch it again one number missing here which is a nine nine blocks down here and across there so there's our nine the missing number here now is four four blocks down here there's our four the missing number here is three three blocks up here there's our three and the final digit is six that's it thank you very much for joining me uh, please uh, check out the old games uh, if you're regular to the channel if check out please check out some of the really old games uh, they're still valid right and also I think you'll see that I've improved since I started this channel a, a few years ago and if you're new to Sudoku check out the easy level games there are lots of them on this channel practice 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 thank you very much I'll see you around bye bye